teams from Gamapa. Edison. And Bullets. Meet today in a first round match on It's Academic. Hello, I'm Mac McGarry. Here's the opening round. Each team begins with 100 points. It's 10 up for a right answer, 10 off for a wrong answer. The contestants here in the studio don't see the writing on their screens in this round that you do at home. If you can't be an explorer, at least you can read travel books. This category asks you to identify persons and places associated with books about travel and journeys. Number one. He described his visit to Kublai Khan's court in Cafe. Dematha. Marco Polo? That's right. Sir Richard Burton wrote about visiting this sacred city of Islam. All right. Dematha, Dematha. Mecca. That's right. Next. This peninsula titles James Michener's book about Spain. Bullis. Iberian. That's right. Next. Travels is a work by this author of Jurassic Park. Bullis. Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton is right. Next. Theroux's Great Railway Bazaar tracks trains on this largest continent. All right, Bullis. Asia. Asia is right next. The Forest People by Turnbull describes these small African people. Dematha. Pygmies. That's right. Bitter Lemons by Durrell concerns this island whose capital is Nicosia. Who has that? Cyprus is the answer. In Coming Into the Country, John McPhee visits this 49th U.S. state. Dematha. Alaska? That's right. Careful journals were kept by this captain killed in Hawaii in 1779. Was that Dematha? Cook. That's right. And finally, Jeff Morehouse wrote The Fearful Void about this largest desert. All right, Dematha. Sahara? That's right. And there's the opening round of its academic. <laughs> Sponsored by Giant Food. Giant. Quality. Value. Service. That's Giant. Your place to save. Thank you very much, everybody, and welcome to our high school quiz. It's academic. Introducing team number one, DeMatha High School, Hyattsville, Maryland, Prince George's County, Chris Fotis. Chris. Hi. I'd like to thank Mike Bonani and everyone who came out here to support us. Thank you, Chris. And Lance Beasley. Hi, my name is Lance Beasley. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Tamatha, and I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Moyling, and our moderator, Joe McNally, for coming out to support us today. All right, Lance. And James Gavazdas. Hi, my name is James Gavazdas. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank our alternates, uh, Steve Haynes, Tommy Willoughby, and Dan Spelta. All right, men, each correct answer in this round is worth 20 points to you. Take a look at the screen. They can see them in this round. Panels on TV shows. Not a panel show here, but... Look within this phrase to find the hidden last name of what English admiral who won the Battle of Trafalgar. Nelson. Nelson is right. A woman noted for her virtuosity would by definition have which of these? An endearing manner. No great technical skill in this case. No points. For the last 22 years of her life, this was the Paris address of what Polish-born woman who was the co-discoverer of the element radium? That's right. Now, Gregor Mendel used which of these to do his groundbreaking experiments in heredity? Fruit flies. Right. And now, this date was the final meeting of what international body, which had been set up after the First World War and which was superseded by the UN? League of Nations. That's right. And finally, the quote, Hail to the blithe spirit. When Shelley wrote these words in an ode, he addressed them to what bird? You have it? Skylark? Skylark is right. So, Dematha, 260 after your part of the round. <laughs> and next, we meet the young people from Edison High in Alexandria, Fairfax County School, Missy Cooper. Missy? Hi, my name is Missy Cooper. I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'm president of the National Honor Society, and I'd like to thank the cheerleaders and everybody who came out. Okay, Missy. Mike Foy. Hi, my name is Michael Foy. I'm a 17-year-old senior. And I run cross-country, and I'd like to thank our advisor, Miss Goldstone, and our principal, Luther Fennell. And contestant number three, Janet Pinkham. Hi, my name's Janet Pinkham. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Edison High School, and I'd like to thank our alternates, Alicia and Allison and Benton. Thank you. Take a look at the screen, Edison. 20 points each correct answer. We'll stop at Tonga. Stop here for a minute. 
you find the hidden last name of what American World War II general who commanded the Third Army? Patton. That's right. Don't have to ring the bell in this round. Prisoners in the French Revolution who were being taken to the guillotine were forced to ride in which of these? Louder? A, a tumbrel. That's right. In a German dictionary, one can find this name for what sort of colorful bird? In Roman myth, a proud symbol of the goddess Juno. And the peacock for NBC, of course. Choice. Which of these adventurers is the explorer who went with Perry to discover the North Pole? Matthew Henson. That's right. Don't have to ring the bell here. These are all yours. <laughs> Officially, <laughs> the British government cited this date as the start of what war, which lasted until 1902 and involved clashes from Cape Town to the Transvaal. Have that? The Boer War. And finally, Arma Varumque Cano. These words are translated, I sing of arms and the man, and open the original version of what epic by Virgil. The Aeneid is the answer there. So Edison has 160 after its part of the round. 160. Here is a team from the Bullis School in Potomac, Maryland. Here's Amir Hanjani. Hi, I'm Amir Hanjani. I'm a 15-year-old sophomore. I'd like to thank our alternates, Robert Allegar, Adrian Scardicini, Kenneth Applebaum, the cheerleaders, and everybody that came to support us today. All right, Amir. Arlen Pyenson. Hi, I'm a 16-year-old junior, a member of the Bulls Players, the National Honor Society, and I'm a peer leader. I'd like to thank the student council, Varsity B, and all the faculty who came out to support us today. Not a cheerleader, but a peer leader. Is that what you peer said? Peer leader. Yeah, well, tell me exactly what that means. We help the ninth graders adjust to high school life. All right, very good. It's a hard adjustment, I know. Jeremy Bach. Hi, um, I'm Jeremy Bach. I'm a 15-year-old sophomore. I'm a member of the yearbook club and student government. And I'd like to thank Ms. Redman, our faculty advisor, and Dr. Young, our headmaster, for their support. Very nicely spoken, Jeremy. Now take a look at the screen, bullets. Here we go. The old you you had. You'll have 20 points here if you can find the hidden name of what American admiral who was the hero of Manila Bay in 1898. Dewey. That's right. Someone who is keeping a vigil is keeping which of these? A watch. That's right. This minor medieval monarch gained in prestige when his daughter, Baron Garia, married what king of England who was known as the Lionhearted? Richard. All right, Richard I is good enough. Right, when running for the U.S. Senate, Lincoln had a series of debates with which of these gentlemen his opponent? Stephen Douglas. That's right. On this date, a woman named Mary Ludwig Hayes brought water to soldiers at the Revolutionary War Battle of Monmouth and gained what two-word nickname? That was Molly Pitcher. And finally, God bless Captain Veer. These are the final words of the fictional sailor Billy Budd. They're also recorded as the dying words of what American writer who created Billy Budd. You have it? You don't want to say it? No. What did you say? Herman Melville is the answer. So bullets 210 and the end of the round. The end of the round. We welcome in our its academic audience. Michael Sherman, member of last year's Bullets team. Michael now at Lehigh. Wave to Grandma, Michael. There she is. All right. Thank you very much. And now, before we go on, let me remind you that each year on its academic giant food awards more than 100 scholarship grants to help deserving students continue their educations. At the end of our program today, three guests. Here they are. Holly Haynes, Dorisa Ingram, and Tammy Snoots will present the awards. And thanks to the cheerleaders, too. In this first round match, the grants totaled $650 with the winning team school receiving $250, each of the other schools $200. During the school year, grants to schools appearing on its academic will be nearly $60,000. And over the years, the Giant has been our sponsor. They have contributed well over a million dollars to participating schools. Giant doesn't select the individual scholarship recipients. The schools do that. And you know, of course, the Giant is continuing the Apples for the Students Plus program. Now in its fourth consecutive year, Giants Apples for the Students Plus has awarded over 47,000 computers, software packages, physical education and science equipment, calculators, audiovisual equipment, encyclopedias, and more to area students, and Giant will continue to do that. To obtain a computer or other equipment for your school, be sure to save those yellow receipt tapes. For more information, look for Giant Associates wearing these Apples for the Students Plus buttons. Giants Apples for the Students Plus. Help your school make the grade. Now, before we get to the next round, the score update. DeMatha has the lead there at 260. Edison, 160. Bullis in second, 210. <laughs> now, 
Now, here's where those indicators come into place, because here's a completely visual round, a free-for-all round. The team whose light is on first has a chance to answer. It's 10 points up for a right answer, but 10 off for a wrong answer. Let's look at number one. This is an artist's rather fanciful depiction of an exhibition room at what best-known Paris Museum. All right, Dematha. That's right. Next, these captured Union Army soldiers were being marched through Charleston, South Carolina, the same city where Dematha. Andersonville. Where the Civil War had exploded with the bombardment of Fort Sumter, so 10 down. Next, we see the actor Frederick March in the role of the character Willie Loman in what drama, Bullis? Death of a Salesman. That's right. What is the product of the two roots of this equation? Anybody have it? Mm. All right, Bullis. Um, X minus 11, X... No, no, no. no, it's negative 36, the answer, so 10 down. Westward pioneers had to pass through this Utah Canyon. Name for what type of sound that repeats and repeats when the sound, uh, Dematha? Echo. Echo, Echo oh, 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 is right. Next, uh, next we have this one. James Wilson, a signer of our declaration, was born in what place in Scotland? A town better known as the birthplace of the game of golf. Was that? St. Andrews is the answer. Next, we see the badge of Britain's Army Air Corps. Unlike the jet jockeys of the Royal Air Force, most of these pilots fly what sort of aircraft developed by Igor Sikorsky? Edison. Helicopters. That's right. Mexican artist Jose Orozco was inspired by history when he painted the army of what Z initialed Mexican revolutionary. All right, uh, Bullis. Zorro. No, Emilio Zapata. So 10 down. The producer Florian Ziegfeld thought that all Broadway shows needed chorus lines. So he added this one to a dramatization of what Dumas story about Porthos, Athos, all right, the method. Three Musketeers. That's right. Although a state governor is not a king, tell them that that's the end of the round. very much and welcome back. Now I have the pleasure of introducing the faculty coaches and administrators who are with the teams today and our other special guests too. The team from DeMatha and Hyattsville has the lead. They have 280. We welcome first Mike Bonani, student council president, the uh, principal of the school, Mr. John Moylan, now celebrating his 25th anniversary. Congratulations, Mr. Moylan, and their faculty coach, Ms. Joan McNally. Thank you all for being with us today. The team from Edison has a big group back there. Edison has 170. We welcome first Sarah Childs, Student Government Association Secretary. Here is Crystal Smith, SGA President. And here is Ms. Dwana Goldstone, faculty coach. Next is Jasmine Tyler, Kietz President. And here's the principal, Mr. Luther Fennell. Thank you all for being with us today. And the team from the Bullis School in Potomac has a score of 200. We welcome the headmaster, Dr. Richard Young faculty coach Ms. Eileen Rebman, and Christy Pratt, president of the Student Council. Thank you all for being here. They're all there. All right, now, teams, we move along into the next round. Each correct answer is worth 20. You see the lights above the team's names? Well, if they're on in a row like that, that'll show eight questions in a row answered correctly. Good for 25 extra. It's happened a few times in the last few games. DeMatha has the turn, so Edison select Mike. Which of these? Um, number two. Number two for Chris, Lance, and James. During the South American Wars for Independence, Jose de San Martin heroically led troops from Argentina into Chile through the Uspallata Pass in what high mountain range? Andes. Andes. That's right. In 1991, the basic subway fare was raised to a buck and a half in what city, where it used to cost a nickel to ride the Staten Island Ferry? New York. That's right. It used to be a nickel on the subway, too. Even before there were ships called ironclads, an iron prow called the Ferro was a feature of what small boats that are traditional transport in Venice, Italy? Gondolas. Gondolas, right on the monitor. Choice. In the 19th century, the Swedish chemist Arrhenius 
defined which one of these as something that yields hydroxide ions in solution? Base. Base. Right. The U.S. Civil War coincided with the last four years of the even bloodier Taiping Rebellion, which took place in what same nation as the later Boxer Rebellion? China. Right. Bossy, jolly, and worldly wise are terms used by literary critic Mary Postgate to describe what fictional wife who narrates one of Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. Wife of Bath. That's right. On the monitor, what's the value of X in the proportion show? Six. Six. Right. When French, what French philosopher, noted as the father of modern scientific method and the originator of analytic geometry, is probably best known for his simple phrase, I think, therefore I am. Rene Descartes. That's right. So a bonus for Demetta. Pagito ergo sum. I'm a quiz master, therefore I am. All right, 465 for Dematha. Now it's the turn for Edison, so bullets select, please. Arlen, which of these? One or three? Three. All right, here are Missy, Mike, and Janet. To show respect for differing religious traditions, the Tennessee State Senate once opened its session with a prayer drawn from what holy book of Islam? The Koran. That's right. In Colorado, the colorfully named Blue Mesa Reservoir supplies water to what town? whose name is paired with Borealis in designating the Northern Lights. Aurora. That's right. The war against the Barbary Pirates was the first time that the U.S. sent a naval task force to what large sea, which is separated from the Atlantic by the Strait of Gibraltar? Mediterranean. That's right. On the monitor choice of these three, which one explains the relation between the absolute temperature and volume of a gas at constant pressure? Charles Long. Right. November 21st, 1620, was the date of the signing of what historic document? which set up rules to govern the colony the Pilgrims would establish in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Mayflower, May, Mayflower Compact. That's right. Wading into current politics with a book called Rebuilding Russia is what Russian novelist, who won a Nobel Prize for such works as The First Circle and the Gulag Archipelago. Have it? Solzhenitsyn, no. the answer there on the monitor. The expression is equal to what integer? 20. 20 is right. The despairing cry, O times, O customs, was voiced not by a modern moralist, by what, by, but by what great Roman orator who denounced the Catiline conspiracy. But it was Cicero, so Edison has 290 after its part of the rap. <laughs> Leaving number one for the Bullis School, Bullis in Potomac, Maryland. Keep the Rome fires burning might have been the tune played in 64 A.D. by what Roman emperor who allegedly fiddled while the city burned? Caesar? No, it was Nero or Peter Ustinov. No, actually Nero. A student of ancient history wanting to visit the Phoenician city of Tyre today would go to what country whose capital is Beirut? Lebanon. That's right. England's House of Commons did not quash a 1792 treason charge made against what American radical who had earlier written common sense Pain. That's right. On the monitor, choice of these three terms, which one is best used to identify the characteristic, that characteristic of protoplasm, which enables it to respond to stimuli? Hydrolysis. No, irritability is the answer there. A diplomat accredited to, uh, accredited to Accra is serving in the capital of what African country, once known as the Gold Coast. The Ivory Coast? No, it's Ghana in this case. Books on tape so readily available today would have been a great help to what blind 17th century English poet who nonetheless overcame his disability to write Paradise Lost. Milton. That's right. On the monitor, if the perimeter of the rectangle is 72, what is the height? What do you think? Well, the answer is 12. The French Revolution's Jacobin Club opened a branch office in the U.S. in the person of what undiplomatic citizen later expelled from the country? Benedict, Benedict Arnold. Well, it was Citizen Genet. So Bullis has 260 and the end of the round. <laughs> All right, let's see how it's going. The team from DeMatha made a big move with a bonus. They're now in the lead at 465. Edison, 290. Bullis, 260. Here's a grab bag free for all round. It is indeed that. The team whose light is on first has a chance to answer a question worth 20 points, 20 off if they miss it. And we have three visual questions, each of which is worth 30 points. Here's number one. Although the motto was long in use, it wasn't until 1956 that Congress officially des designated as the U.S. national motto 
what four-word English phrase? The matter. In God we trust. That's right. Although December is the 12th month on our calendar, the letters D-E-C, tell us that December occupied bullets. Ten. It was formerly the 10th month in the Roman calendar is right. Many New England soup kitchens have reported that hunters are donating deer meat, such meat being properly described with what V, Dametha. Venison. That's right. Check the monitor now for a 30-pointer. The royal couple poses with a glittering group of friends, relatives, and courtiers. An Arabian Nights love story come true, with the ending still to be written. All they need is a baby boy to live happily ever after. Well, as we all know, it was not as simple as all that. The Shah of Iran was overthrown in 1979 by followers of what Islamic, Dematha, Dematha. Ayatollah? Uh, that's right, Dematha, Dematha. That's right, exactly right for 30. What? Well, <laughs> Khomeini. Well, yeah, oh, sure. There's, who else do we know? Ayatollah Smith? All right, here we go. What is, what is the name? What is the mass in slugs of an object whose weight is 64 pounds? What is that? Two slugs. <laughs> the scent of the gods is not a brand of perfume. It's the title of Fiona Chong's recent book about what Asian country that is an island at the tip of Malaysia. Singapore, the answer there. If a watch gains four minutes in an hour, in how many hours will it be an hour fast? Edison. Fifteen? Fifteen is right. Now let's check it for another 30-pointer. Here we go. The candidates need no introduction. The Republican candidate, Vice President Richard M. Nixon, and the Democratic candidate, Senator John F. Kennedy. That was Howard K. Smith. Campaign debates are old hat now, but in 1960, the whole country was glued to the very first televised debate as both candidates vied in their efforts to succeed what incumbent? Dematha. Eisenhower. That's right. One of those debates was held in this studio in October 1960. The outlaws, Bonnie and Clyde, were tracked down by Frank Hammer, who belonged to what branch of the Texas State Police, first organized by Stephen Austin? Edison. Rangers. Rangers is right. After Congress has adjourned, a president fearing a money bill might hurt the nation's pocketbook. Uh, Edison. Hmm. Pacavito. Pacavito is right. Might do that, yes. Joyce Clyde Hall, head of the Hallmark Greeting Card Company for 50 years, commissioned paintings from what folk artist nicknamed Grandma? All right, Dematha. Moses. That's right. Now here's another 30-point question. Hated emblems of red tyranny went down as Hungarian patriots for 10 glorious days sent Russian armored might reeling in a struggle which pitted raw courage and rifles against tanks. During the brief but doomed revolution of 1956, 200,000 Hungarians fled the country most going to what neighboring country with which Hungary had been joined under the Habsburgs. Dematha. Austria. That's right. At the Battle of Gettysburg, the ill-fated Pickett's charge was an attempt to take what ridge, whose name suggests a graveyard. Where's that? Cemetery Ridge, too late. On a map, one half inch represents 10 miles. Two cities are five inches apart on the map. How far apart are they in reality? Dematha. 200 miles? Now, 100 miles, so that's 20 down. Although sword swallowing wasn't on the menu, what ancient Greek courtier suffered through a banquet with a sword suspended uh, all right to method? Damocles. Damocles is right, and there's the end of the game! Welcome back. Now I have the pleasure of introducing the giant staff members who will present today's awards. Thanks very much to the young people from the Bullis School. Bullis. A score of 280 and the award for $200 presented by, let me check it, that's Holly Haynes, pharmacy clerk at store number 198. I know that one. Potomac Promenade in Potomac, Maryland. Thank you, Amir, Arlen, and Jeremy for being with us. And here's the team from Edison High. Edison in Alexandria, they have a score of 350 and another award for $200 is presented by Tammy Snoots, cashier at the Giant at Van Dorn and Edsel in Alexandria. Thank you, Missy, Mike, and Janet. Now a winning team and winning score, why? At 615 points, Dematha High in Hyattsville. And the award for $250 presented by Dorisa Ingram, 
cashier at the Giant and the Queenstown Shopping Center in Hyattsville. So means our winning team, Dematha, returns later in the season to face two other first-round winners in a playoff match next week, another first-round match, McDonough of Charles County, Churchill, and South Lakes. I'm Mac McGarry, and I have a moment to say thanks very much to parents and teachers for your cooperation with us through all the years. We owe it to you, and of course, to our generous sponsor, Giant Food. See you next week, and now come on up here. Come on. Academic has been.